start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of it Hey y'all, thank you for stopping by Simple Living today. I am gonna share with you my most favorite granola recipe and you are going to love it. Um, if this is something you might be interested in watching, why don't you go ahead and stay with me? If you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel yet, why don't you do so? I would love to have you a part of our community. And let's just get into the kitchen because I'm ready to make some granola. Okay, we're fixing to make my favorite granola. So we're gonna start out with four cups of, I use gluten-free organic oats. So we'll do four cups of oats, and then we're going to do about two cups of almonds. And then we're gonna do two cups of unsweetened coconut. We're gonna give that a little stir. And then you're gonna add three fourths cups of either coconut oil or canola oil with a half a cup of honey. Now, some vegans do honey, some vegans don't. I personally will use honey if it's responsibly sourced. So, that's my feelings on that. So, you're gonna stir this all up, just like this. Get everything mixed in. And then you're gonna add that mixture of oil and honey. here. Give it a little mix. I like using coconut oil as well, but today I'm not. All right, you're going to pour this all in. And you're going to mix it all up and you're going to bake it at 350 on a 13 by 18 sheet pan for 45 minutes. And about every 15 minutes, you wanna stop and give it a stir. Okay, I decided to add a little cinnamon to mine. You're gonna give that a stir. And you can add whatever, add some black seed in here if you want, some ground black seed, yeah, some chia seeds, whatever you want. And the key to this granola is we're gonna add all the goodness the fruit at the end. After we're done cooking it, then we're gonna add the rest of the goodness to it. And oh my gosh, we love eating this as just like a snack, like some cereal. We love putting it over granola. I mean, over granola, this is granola. We love putting it over um, cashew yogurt. I also love putting this on top of my smoothies, like layering it and making it with a smoothie or also a smoothie bowl you know, where you make your smoothie a little thicker and then top it with fresh fruit, bananas, chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds. Just make a healthy smoothie bowl. But anyway, once you get this all stirred up, you're gonna put it on your cooking sheet and you're gonna put your oven on 350 degrees and every 15 minutes, use a spatula and flip it. And you're gonna cook it for 45 minutes. evenly and get this goodness into the oven. Oh my gosh, y'all, Superman is going to be so happy to come home to some fresh granola. I'll show you my granola jar. We're almost out. All right, into the oven we go. I've heard every cliche there is and none of them makes sense. I'm so tired of love songs. I'm sick and tired of love songs. I'm so tired of
cups start to dry. Okay, y'all. It only took uh, 30 minutes. So for mine. So, you, you know, you may want to check yours at 30 minutes. It, it got nice and toasty at 350 for 30 minutes and I flipped it twice. So yeah, you might too. This is the time you get to, after you let it cool and then you can pour it in a big bowl so you can do your mix ins. I want to add, I've got coconut in here and I have slithered almonds, but I want to add in some walnuts. So I'm just going to dump in a few walnuts. You can add anything, pecans, walnuts. I just love walnuts. And then I'm gonna add in a couple of handfuls of Bing cherries, dry cherries. Maybe one more handful. Okay. And then I'm gonna add in a couple of handfuls of dried blueberries, which I love as well. And then once it's, I mean, it's pretty cool right now, but I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit more. Then I'm gonna add in mini vegan chocolate chips. Just one handful. So maybe you get a few in each bowl. I don't wanna overwhelm my granola with chocolate. I would rather overwhelm it with dried fruit. You can also add in some um, ginger, which, I might do when I add the chocolate in. So I've got some dried ginger up there, but I need to cut it in small pieces if I decide to add it in here. Then once it's all said and done, you can find you a jar or something to put it in. Here's a tip. I have this really cute um, cup that I will use, that I will put in here to serve my granola out of. So you might want to do something like that. I find it's perfect, perfect for this because this is one cup. And that's all there is to it, y'all. It's nothing more than baking and adding. It <laughs> couldn't be any simpler than that. And this is this is more of a method than a recipe because you can add dried apricots, figs, uh, papayas. Um, I normally add papaya, but I didn't see any at Trader Joe's yet. So dried papaya is awesome in this. Any, any dried fruit, whatever your favorite is, that's what you can put in it. And then you have go-to granola to top your yogurt, your smoothies, your smoothie bowls, or just have it as a bowl of cereal. All right. recipe very versatile and delicious um, if you try it do me a favor and tag me in it because I would love to see your creations um, like I said it's more of a method than it is a recipe so you just go crazy with it it is so good it is even good on ice cream y'all <laughs> it's delicious all right thank you again for stopping by simple living go out there and be willing to be an answer to somebody else's prayer but Oh my goodness, if you cannot be the answer, don't be the problem. All right, God bless you. Bye-bye.